Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is doing okay. So I suppose no good deed goes unpunished. Um, ever since my video on the XDTE uh, tourist erosion, uh, I, excuse me, uh, the QDTE um, tourist erosion, um, with that video, uh, well, unfortunately things got a little bit worse and then now it's only a matter of time before like the, the high yield barbarians uh, ransack um, Round Hill's XDTE as well. So, uh, you know, just to let people know, I still have a high yield allocation. So this isn't going to, like, you know, force me, like, out of these uh, ETFs, uh, at least not yet. Um, because, like, you know, just for ex as, as an example, uh, I triple Q uh, as of September 9th, uh, 2024. This one is still, like, relatively normal. Although I've noticed that this particular one, um, the tourists actually left because of you can tell by the share uh, share count actually went down uh, from the last time I published that video. So just as a reminder, IQQ is from ProShares, uh, started March 18th. Um, assets went from 4 million all the way to 45 uh, million. So you see a nice asset increase of 1,031%. And the share count went from 100,000 to uh, 1 million, uh, 1, 6. Uh, so that's like about 1060 so you'll notice like this one like there's a little bit of tourist erosion too but it's not that bad uh so i think since like the tourists left i'm assuming they went to uh qdte or maybe like they're they're just scared in general maybe they put it in cash or like, there's no way to know uh, but that's just my my guess uh, because you you do notice that qdte has like a nice um bump up in terms of assets under management so QDTE and XDTE, um, as well, I guess like most of you are already aware, uh, big and small YouTubers have started hyping up uh, QDTE uh, lately, and now there's like some spillover effect into XDTE as well. Uh, so just a quick update on QDTE. This is that um, all information is as of September 9th. Um, so you know you, you guys can feel free to update this yourself um, as you as you see fit. So on March 7th, it started. Uh, started March 7th, um, uh, the, the ETF itself, so went from 9.1 million uh, to 342 million in terms of uh, assets under management. So, you know, that's a pretty respectable 3,658% uh, increase. Uh, so, and here's the tricky part, like the, the share count went from 200,000 to 8.6 million. So, as far as uh, uh, Roundtail is concerned, I'm sure they're pretty happy. They're happy to take like a fee. Uh, you know, from all these assets, uh, but unfortunately, the share count went up um, at a faster rate, so it's four thousand two hundred five percent. So the, since the last uh, video, um, there was like about a nine percent uh, tourist dilution, uh, but now it's actually gone up uh, thirteen um, percent to th to thirteen percent. Uh, so in other words, QTTE should be trading around like the forty five dollar mark uh, instead of like the forty dollar mark. Uh, so this is remarkably bad. Um, I try to make a PSA just to kind of like let people know, you know, you don't have to like rush in uh, into these things, but I guess people can do whatever they want with the money, you know? Um, so, and then I guess like people that are already in it might be suffering a little bit, uh, but more on that in a bit. So XDTE, um, I, I actually purposely tried to delay making uh, any videos related to XDTE um, just because like so far so so good. Uh, but here's the bad news now. Um, since it also started like around March seventh, uh, on March seventh, uh, assets went from 1.3 million all the way up to 100 million. Again, very respectable, 7,592 uh, percent. Share count went from 25,000 to 1.9 million. Uh, so, sh but the share count uh, again, as you notice, the share count. Uh, the rate of change is actually faster than the actual assets themselves, and part of it is just like the the recent. Um, down move uh, that hurt like the asset value uh, but you know just to let you guys know uh, you know the 7,880 percent is outpacing the the you know the assets rate of change so this one thankfully uh, is not as bad um, it's only like a four uh, percent tourist dilution so in other words XTTE should be trading like around the 40 50, like the 52 dollar uh, mark um, and then now it's like around like 50 uh, but again it's not as bad uh, there's there's some there is some good news uh, coming up. So I like how um, Brown Hill like they they make a habit uh, like so far so good like they're spreading out like the exploration cycles so not everything's like cl kind of clumped up 
uh, on the same um, uh, uh, option cy uh, cycles. Uh, so like in the last video, like I said, like you know, adding the September cycle might help a little bit. And so far, like if you notice um, under like the the QDTE, they did um, recently um, put in like their September uh, expiration cycles. So you know. Hopefully, um, there's there will be some good news on the horizon, and even more good news is that our DTE uh, also by Roundhill is also out. So people that might want to be more, um, uh, they want to take on with some more risks. So that might you know some people that are in QDT right now, if they want like you know something that has more volatility exposure. So in other words, like more volatility juice to squeeze, and potentially like a higher um, yield. Uh, you know, RTTE might be something that some folks might consider, and this way, this will help RTTE kind of like flesh out, uh, and then also like kind of relieve some of the pressure on QDTE. Uh, and then also another uh, bit of good news: pro uh, the pro shares, the ITWO, uh, that one is out. So that's also like the you know small cap uh, focused, um, uh, you know, zero DTE uh, cover call uh, fund. So yeah, uh, so that all uh, gloom and doom. Um, so, what if you're already in QDTE and XDTE? Uh, you know, so far, like the tourist dilution isn't um, too horrible. Uh, well, for XDTE, uh, QDTE makes me a little bit nervous, but I'm hoping, like, again, uh, you know, patient investors will kind of like win out. Um, if you can kind of tough out like the, the down move, uh, there's a chance that it could recover. Uh, but we also have to kind of wait for like the barbarians to kind of maybe maybe they get bored. Uh, maybe something else will come out. Uh, maybe like the the yield boost ones like that'll that'll get some of the the hot money and the degenerate money uh, into other things. Um, I'm hoping that that'll that'll help uh, balance things out. Uh, and then the other thing is like a market rebound might bail out and rebalance the, the ETF, like the rates of change between the assets and the and the share count. Uh, so let's say, for example, like after the election is settled, um, we might have a nice like Santa Claus rally and then like all, all these funds might, might sort itself out. Or at least that's my, my hope. Um, of course, no guarantee. I'm just a fat panda on the Internet. Um, and again, um, just as a reminder, uh, for larger accounts, you might want to consider learning how to like do these yourself. Uh, so these are just basically uh, diagonal spreads, um, so or like poor man's cover calls. In case you want to like look this up on YouTube and you know see see how other people uh, approach this, and then like you know while you're learning, you can kind of copy the roundhill trades at first uh, while you learn, and then eventually you'll learn to like. Uh, adjust the strikes like maybe maybe you want more risk or maybe you want less risk so you sell things like further out the money uh, just as an example um, and again this is just like my observation and my opinion uh, don't get too worked up look you know you can do whatever you want with your money it's yours you you know do whatever you want I'm just you know pointing things out that people might find um, interesting or alarming uh, so you know, as always, please stay on top of your investments and your hedges. Uh, so if you can like and subscribe, uh, that would be greatly appreciated. Thank you for watching. Hope you make some good money out there, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.